Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm using this deck to push up Global Tournament. This deck got me into League 10 really, really easily last season, and this deck has been my favorite to get 15 wins guaranteed basically every time I'm playing a Global Tournament. Um, we're gonna go with the Infernal Tower right here. We're gonna go with the Barbarian Barrel. That should be able to buy it. Okay, Mini Pekka will get probably a shot off. Um, Maybe even, wow, it gets a second shot off, so definitely not the star we wanted, which is going to get some damage on that right side. Um, but now that we have our thing settled, we have our, we'll line up our row recruits with his uh, mini P.E.K.K.A. And that's basically a free King Tower activation. So I'll definitely take that. Obviously with this deck, your bomber is going to, your evil bomber specifically, is going to be your secondary win condition. So you got to treat it as such. Let's get Ram Rider going here. Um, he goes with the wizard. I'm expecting him to drop something here. Yeah. Okay, we'll go with the poison. And we'll be pretty we'll be okay right here. Inferno Tower gets taken out. Not that that matters too much. Um Wizard barely, barely survives the poison. So it's gonna be interesting because he's got wizard. He's also got the witch. Um I'm expecting Mini Pekka and Hog. Okay, there's the Valkyrie. We'll go with the Inferno Tower right now. And yes, so our Infernal Tower, you obviously want to be hitting the uh, Valkyrie in this case, especially with the King Tower activation. I would say if it can target the Valkyrie or the Knight, whatever they're throwing in front of it, that's definitely preferable. Let's get a Ram Rider going here. I'm expecting to go with the Mini P.E.K.K.A. Um, with the help of the Little Prince, we definitely should be able to whittle it down quite substantially um, to the point where it's not even that much of a threat. Um, we can more or less ignore the Firecracker there because I'm assuming it's going to be a one tower game. Um, we can go with the Barbarian Barrel just to get a cycle going. Okay, here's the Infernal Tower. I'm expecting him to go with um, Hog Rider at some point. Oh, there's the Evil Wizard. Um, we should be okay here, I would say. Let's get a uh, Little Prince going, of course. And Infernal Tower is going to help clean that up pretty... Oh just out of range kind of interesting we'll go poison right here let's go ram rider here and we're gonna go with the barbarian barrel as you can see with the ram rider the ram riders um ability to just slow things down as it attacks it is so valuable in this deck it's quite underrated um as a defensive um card we're gonna go with the infernal tower right here we're gonna go with uh little prince up high basically try and um preserve our infernal tower from a jump um Okay, so we are in an interesting spot somewhat. Let's drop a poison right here and see which way he decides to go um, or not do anything at all. Let's go with Barbarian Barrel as the wizard is going to target onto... Yeah, very, very nice stuff because it targets onto the roll recruits and that means we have Ram Rider dashing onto that tower. We're going to drop Evil Bomber here and this is exactly the lineup I'm talking about because you're going to get so much damage due to the um, evil bomber just lining things up and wreaking havoc there. We're gonna go with the Royal Recruits right now. Um, we're gonna go with the Barbarian Barrel as well, and that should be able to help clean up the um, Hog Rider and as well with the King Tower activation. Pretty clutch stuff. Let's go with Arrows right here to clip the Firecracker. And with 489 left, we're sitting okay right now. Let's get Infernal Tower up. I'm expecting him to go with Hog Rider at some point. We're gonna go Ram Rider here. And there's the Evil Wizard. Okay, I was not expecting an Evil Wizard. Definitely not going to lie about that, but we're going to drop poison right here. That's definitely worth it because we just need one more poison and um, a set of arrows. And we'll be in business and we'll secure the W. So let's go with the bomber here. I'm expecting him to go with maybe even a Mega Knight. Um, ooh, I'll definitely take that value. And let's go with a Barbarian Barrel. We'll play Infernal Tower up high. Um, and we should be okay here. We're going to poison everything. Um... Yeah, we're in a really, really deep, we're in a really good spot here. We'll go Ram Rider, and let's go with the Bomber for that Wizard, and more or less just need a cycle to a Poison and basically secure a good solid W, bouncing back from a pretty bad start there. But as you can see with this deck, really, really solid, really, really high capabilities of bouncing back. Let's get on to another one. All right, getting to this next match here, probably gonna play Bomber pretty safe here to go with bomber oh and we play it on the rights on the on the side that he went with the um goblin drill would we'll definitely take that bomber should be able to take that out it's, we're going to give up a hit to each of those goblins that spawn out unfortunately uh we're going to go with the royal recruits here for going down the left lane 
Little Prince is not going to survive that poison, unfortunately, but we're able to force out a Tesla. I'm kind of surprised. And we get um, one Elixir Skeletons and an Ice Spirit out from our opponent. Um, that Goblin Demolisher is not going to make it to that tower. We do get one little stab there uh, on the left side. So let's see if we can go with Ram Rider here and cause some havoc. Um, I think Ram Rider should be able to break on through with next to no problem. Or we can force out a Log and a Tesla all at once. So pretty decent stuff. Um, the we can cycle our bomber here. I'm not too worried about focusing on saving the bomber for the goblin drill because you have the little prince and you have the ability. You also have royal recruits in this deck. Um, obviously, really solid stuff for countering the goblin drill. So we're able to force out a poison at the bridge, which is probably not what he wants, um, but we'll take it and we get a shot off from that. Um, so pretty decent stuff here. Roll Recruit should be able to do an okay job cleaning this up. We'll go Barbarian Barrel as well. He hasn't really shown a, um, a threat in terms of something at the bridge. Let's see which way he goes on defense. Let's go Ram Rider here. Oh, there's the Goblin Demolisher. Uh, we may be able to even arrows this down here. Um, nice, we're able to clean that up. Ram Rider should be able to take out those one laser Skeletons pretty easily, dashing onto the tower and probably getting a few hits off um, while there so pretty good stuff uh we do have the evil bomber now and evil bomber especially against goblin drill definitely gonna be really really solid we're gonna go with little prince going down the other lane so he doesn't want to poison it let's go with the row recruits right now um there's the evil goblin drill um evil bomber should be able to help clean that up pretty significantly um pretty easily i should say let's go with ram rider here and we can use our little prince ability and force some um, force something out, yeah, on that uh, left side. Ram Rider is going to force out a, a log there, so pretty tight match so far. Let's get a... Ooh, he's probably going to drop it in front. Um, that's the one thing about dropping the Infernal Tower the way I did. It's a slight mistake going up against Goblin Drill because you're not able to drop your recruits um, on defense as you normally would. Let's go with the Little Prince ability right at the bridge. And... Let's see if we can get a Ram Rider going once the Tesla goes down. Um, he may be back to another Tesla. Pretty crazy. We'll go Arrows here for maybe an Ice Spirit. Okay, Ram Rider is able to break on through, so solid stuff. Let's go with Bomber here. Um, oh, Ram Rider is able to help slow down the Goblin Demolisher. So pretty, pretty big play right there. Let's go with Royal Recruits here for going down the right lane. Um, yeah, there. I'm expecting the Drill now. Oh, okay, let's go with Little Prince here in the back as he drops a poison, as he's forced to drop a poison early. We're going to go with poison of our own on that Goblin Demolisher. Um, let's go Ram Rider here and let's drop an Arrows and we'll use our Bomber for defense against the Drill. Um, ooh, I wish I timed that better. That would have finished off the uh, Goblins with minimal damage. Uh, let's go Roll Recruits here. Really, really close match. I'm not really liking this uh, situation right now. Um, I don't know if he's going to be defending that left side. Roll recruits are going to dash onto that tower. That's exactly what I was expecting. Let's go with the um, goblin barrel or the barbarian barrel. And we were able to eke out a win right there. That's exactly what I'm talking about. I think he absolutely underestimated that left side. Good game. Well played. Let's get on to another one. All right. Next match here. This is playing for the 11th win. Starting with bomber going down the left lane. Pretty safe generally. Ooh. We're gonna go Barbarian Barrel like this. Kind of interesting um, play, but we're able to rely on the Bomber to finish off the um, Goblin in the back. And basically taking out the two in the front. We're gonna drop Poison for the Witch as it walks up. Ooh, he's got Witch and the Magic Archer. What in the world? I really wish the Bomber actually would have targeted the Witcher so we're able to clean up the Witch. Um, so this could be a slight problem here. Let's go Little Prince. Uh, we may have to ignore that Magic Archer. Uh, considering, yeah, we'll just have to see what happens here. Bomber for most of that um, spam, which actually targeted onto the uh, Little Prince, which is obviously preferable. Forcing out arrows from our opponent. I mean, that's a pretty good uh, set of arrows, so maybe not forcing them out, but we should be able to... He may have the Infernal Tower. Let's check it out. Not going to drop the Ram Rider to jump over the bridge, but oh, he's only got the gang for that. Kind of interesting. Let's get a Barbarian Barrel going. We do have arrows in this deck, so I'm not too worried about his Goblin um, Barrel, but he's also got, 
he's also got the firecracker so pretty interesting let's go with the infernal tower here let's get a free king tower activation that sh that will get some damage oh it didn't get any damage on that left side sometimes it does um but it didn't there so that's pretty good for us let's get a poison going on this witch played some defense here we're in a pretty decent spot so i don't think we have to fret too much um in the ways of offense let's go little prince and we can just go with the evil bomber and watch the evil bomber absolutely decimate the magic archer as well really really solid stuff i don't even think the knight got any uh damage off that evil bomber on defense is super super clutch um we're gonna go with the arrows here um oh there's a mega knight okay i mean i was expecting him to have something heavy um but i just didn't know what it was but we'll go with the inferno tower here let's go with the barbarian barrel let's go with the bomber here um we should be in a pretty decent spot i would say let's go with uh, little prince up high because if not oh okay i mean he would have bailed me out i guess but that would have definitely jumped onto the tower if not let's go with a uh, ram rider here and ram rider should be able to help slow things down we're gonna go with arrows to clean everything up at the bridge we have the barbarian barrel for his goblin barrel cleaning that up really really clean i don't think with 15 seconds left there's gonna be very much that he can do We'll go with the uh, Inferno Tower up high. Dropping a Magic Archer in the back is basically just giving the game up. That's going to be good game well played with about 7 seconds to go. That is going to be the 11th win. Let's get on to another one. Alright, hop to this last match of the video here. So even though this is going to be my last match um, of the video and we're not going to have... I'm not going to be showing me going uh, pushing up some more. I would definitely put um, at the end of this video um basically how high i got up my goal obviously every time is to get 15 wins because that's where all of the rewards basically end so he's got it looks like it's just gonna be a fast cycle hog deck nothing too crazy here let's go with the inferno tower that will get king tower activation as well from the firecracker so obviously very very advantageous for us seven elixir for five and we basically we, we basically got king tower activation from that so definitely worth it and the one thing to be careful about this deck is dropping your row recruits when you have to. There will be one cycle at about the one minute, uh, one minute fifteen minute mark where you may get out cycled if they play it right. And you definitely want to be careful of using your row recruits without anything up top to protect against the uh, firecracker. So he's just gonna go with the ability there that should open up some avenues for us on offense and we're gonna arrows everything down including the firecracker and the goblin okay we're, we're, we almost finished that off but we'll definitely take it that is a down firecracker and we do have a ram rider at that tower forcing out an e-spear to help preserve maybe one or two hits right there so pretty solid exchange right there um, anytime you can get massive amounts of damage against the hog rider fast psycho deck with a firecracker running this deck Definitely, definitely going to be good, especially in single elixir when you struggle. We'll go in for, uh, Inferno Tower right here. Not really sure what he's doing. He may be a little bit desperate um, or not even counting or, you know, at least trying to guesstimate that I may have my Inferno Tower and keep up with my Psycho. Uh, Bomber isn't going to get a shot off, unfortunately, especially with the help of that Tesla. So you definitely have to be a little bit careful right about now if he wants to cycle really quickly, but doesn't look like it's going to be the case. Let's go with the Royal Recruits here. And we can definitely use the evil bomber and use his um, uh, mighty miner basically as a ladder, allowing us to get a um, shot off right there with the evil bomber. So evil bomber is going to stay alive and everything's dashing towards that tower. Evil bomber is still alive still and we're able to force out a log and pretty well defended from our opponent i must say let's go with the row recruits right here at the bridge we're gonna go with the barbarian barrel i was expecting something if not the firecracker we would at least clip something there we're gonna drop poison here and i think we may um you know at least in a safe way we're able to spell cycle our opponent out uh we'll see if that's going to be what's going to be required for us to win this let's go with ram right here um he may go with a his tesla there's his tesla Let's go with the uh, Inferno Tower, and if he wants to, you know, switch lanes, I'm all for it. Um, there is his Earthquake. Let's go Little Prince right now, and we're going to go with the Row Recruits, and we're going to go with the Barbarian Barrel. I think we should be able to... Ooh, it actually got a hit off, so that's not too good for us, obviously. Okay, Row Recruits going to force out the Goblins. Um, let's see, we're just going to poison this right now. Okay, Row Recruits are on that... Um, right side tower so okay we're gonna force out a 
firecracker. Let's go with the bomber here. And then let's go with the infernal tower. Um, he's going to go with earthquake, of course. Firecracker will get taken out. We need a little bit more damage, probably from some sort of uh, spell cycling. Um, let's get a little prince going at some point. We obviously want to be using arrows. Um, and let's see, he may just go with... Oh, I mean, I'll take that. I'm not really sure what he's doing right now. Um, we can go Ram Rider here. That will basically slow that down. We're going to go with the Barbarian Barrel, clean that up as well. Um, ooh, pretty spicy move right there, but I don't think that's going to be enough. We're going to drop Poison right here, and let's go with Arrows just to win this game even quicker, leave nothing to chance. Good game, well played. Four wins in a row. That brings us up to 12 wins, getting all of the rewards. And I would definitely be posting um, my final result right now. And if you guys like this video, please like, comment, subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time.